let's go over two complications that can occur after a cardiac catheterization that every med student, intern, and resident should be aware of. The first complication is a simple one, but very, very scary, which is a retroperitoneal bleed. As you may know, to get, do a cardiac cath, you actually have to access the femoral artery, and you have to then go up and look at their coronary arteries around the heart. That access site at the femoral artery, if it doesn't effectively clot off, it can lead to a bleed, and not just any bleed, an arterial bleed, and that can present with hypotension and be very, very life-threatening because it's a very fast uh, bleed. And so because of that, you should always consider doing a CT abdomen and pelvis to assess for a retroperitoneal hematoma or a bleed. Um, but you should also just be aware of hypotension in post-cath patients and be aware that this is something that can cause it. The second complication is known as a pseudoaneurysm. And this happens when blood actually leaks out of the vessel, but um, still stays within the outer layers of the vessel. This causes a bulge in the vessel, which is known as an aneurysm. And for patients, that can often present with a tender mass at the area of the access site. So be on the lookout for that as well, because those aneurysms can rupture and be deadly. So remember, retroperitoneal bleed and aneurysm, okay? Be aware of those two. Follow for more. Peace.